Hello and welcome to People's Dispatch. Today we are joined by George Bonono, the Deputy President of Abhala Ali Basia Majundolo, the Shack Dwellers Movement in South Africa. And we are going to be talking about the spree of evictions and uh, demolitions of the shacks, in, especially in the city of Durban that has been going on for the past few, month, past few months. Abhala Ali Basia Majundolo is an organization that mobilizes homeless people, helps them build homes, helps them build an economy. And this movement and its members have been persecuted continuously by the government over the past many years. Thank you so much, George, for speaking to us. Thank you very much uh, to People Dispatch uh, for giving us an opportunity. And to begin with, I wanted to start out by the attack that happened on the Echenana occupation on July 28. And as usual, this has been continuously happening this year and the previous years. Uh, shacks were attacked, people were attacked, and this has been happening despite the fact that the government announced that during the lockdown period, during the COVID-19 period, there would be no evictions. But this is, I think, maybe the third or fourth attack that has taken place. So could you first talk a bit about the situation on the ground right now, especially in Durban, where there are two or three occupations at least? Uh, as the movement of Abbasal Basam Chandala, especially the people from a Kenana occupation, uh, people, they've been facing a lot of depression from the state and uh, enforcement and also uh, seeing an attack that is also coming from the local councillors as well. Also, the other members of the ruling party that are surrounding the community. Current situation right now, people are there and are ready to resist because they have nowhere to go. And they also you know, uh, and pushing their lives and make sure that they are also human beings. They need to have to survive. Uh, but in the current situation now, people are there and there's a movement. We are trying to approach the law again. As you know, that Kenana, we've been in court for several times, but this time around, we worked with our attorneys to make sure that they must write a letter to the municipality lawyers to address the issue that the mayor himself now he must take the responsibility of the attack that has been posed to the people in the crowd. Right. So uh, also in this context, we understand that there have been a number of attacks in Durban, especially over uh, the past few months. The Ethiopian municipality has uh, been the one executing these attacks. So could you talk about a larger situation in with this municipality that has led to these kind of attacks continuously happening? Yes, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a usually municipality. We've been seeing this in South Africa in all the corners. You know, Abashali, they are on, on not only organized in one in province, in Kazakh. We've been seeing this in Cape Town, where the Red Ends are also doing the same thing. We've been seeing this happening in Johannesburg, in Eguruleni, in all other areas. But in Kazakh, it's a, it's a municipality that is an organization when we see them. We say like the Etebuni municipality, the province of Wazulu Natal, it's like they are on their own and they are not obeying to the law and the constitution of this country. It's like they are running their own show. Why we are saying that? It's because of the, the ongoing of the eviction that are taking place, especially while the country is facing this pandemic. Also, the regulation that is the, even the human settlement, Umama uh, Sisuwe uh, Sisulu, she also have issued a statement that all the eviction it must stop because people they need to stay at home but we are, we are seeing this in kazakhstan but we are know that it's not only uh, posing an attack from the ground from the people the attack is also being placed by the ruling party because they want to destroy the movement of abasal basam chandolo because they don't want to see people organizing themselves from the ground people gaining the independence without you know being the, the, the beggars from from the government and in this context, could you also talk about what are some of the challenges that the residents of these occupations have faced during the COVID-19 crisis? So we know that there have been issues regarding health, sanitation, water. These are issues across the country. So how have the residents of these occupations managed to actually overcome these challenges? Have they got any help from the government at all or any of the authorities or has it been completely community organized? Wow. The people of Kenan, of a Kenan occupation, it's people, if you go in the ground, people that they faced a lot of this, uh, you know, the pain. This government, you also ask the people that 
people they must stay at home, people they must use water and all that. So we were happy enough as, a, as an organization when we were, at, uh, we were called by Human Settlement nationally to address these issues and also ask from us, can we give them the list for the, from the areas that they actually don't even have even a single tap of water. One of uh, the branches of Ekenana we have submitted, but we, have, we haven't seen even none of these uh, services coming place in Ekenana. But we are, what we are seeing is an attack because we think the people of Ekenana, the practice that they are doing from the ground, that they also you know, plow and do farming because they want to make sure that their families, they have food. Uh, we know that because of them, they also uh, put a red flag, you know, uh, our Charlie flag and also MST flag. That itself, we know that is an attack because the current government that it tells people that is the government for the black people, but it's not. They, they are against from the people. So we know the attack is not only just us because people are building their homes there. It's also, it's also attacking the ideology and the practical work that people from the ground, that they want to live with it. So we know we are clear on that. So that is why we are saying today, no matter what they do, about that, they will resist and they will continue doing what they believe that is right for them. Absolutely. And you talked about the work that is going on regarding farming, a model which also the MST has done. So could you talk a bit more about what exactly the residents of the occupations have been doing? What is the model that is being built with this farming? Hey, I was quite, uh, you know, uh, expressed, you know, and, and happy uh, because I'm one of the members uh, of Abathali that had the opportunity to be an MST and visit the occupations and see from the ground, you know, the belief when people they are living, saying we are from this community. When you see a shop, shop not being owned by individually, where everyone, even you go get a stock, but it's make sure that it's for the community. It's exactly what you are seeing at the Kenya now. They have a shop that it's a, it's a community built, built up a person that is a, it's selling in a shop is not doing any profit for himself. We have seen the gardens where they plow, you know, vegetables and everything, where they go and sell. And whatever comes out, it's not going for individually. And when we have seen the women taking them place and building some small houses for themselves, building some classes of teaching each other that how can we unite ourselves? How can we live? How can you leave your neighbor when you have food and your neighbor doesn't have food? So we have seen that they also started, you know, farming the chickens as well now that we are seeing that when you're issuing the statement because we are proud of this. And then that's where the other things we're saying, no, might be attack as well because we know which area of the world we are. And, 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 and especially in South Africa, uh, the capital system that is still taking place in like, we, like we, are, we are in America but we are in South Africa. As Abashali, we are happy to have an Ali, like MST, and some of us, and I remember one of the days I was you know, studying, identifying from the community and saying, no, I look, some of them, uh, can, I, can, I, I hope they can get an opportunity, opportunity to go be an MST and learn a little, little bit more how to farm. And then we can also need to learn more that after they finish, uh, do the farming, how can we help them to put the stuff in the market? So what is happening to them, it can build and really build the community and also build the world. Absolutely. And finally, George, one last question regarding uh, the, after, in the aftermath of the attacks. Are there any more legal steps you're planning in terms of approaching the courts? Uh, or has this already happened regarding, stay, regarding a stay in eviction, considering that the government itself has said that it should not happen? Uh, right now, our legal team are uh, busy working on papers. To already, they've wrote the letter to the municipality uh, lawyers to to get the answers. Mm -hmm. Firstly, they must allow our people that they have demolitional houses to rebuild, and then mayor he must be responsible for what has happened. If they don't do so, we are suing the mayor in court because we feel that that is his responsibility that he should make sure that as a government or authorities, they are not the one they're supposed to be breaking the law of this country. Thank you so much for talking to us.
we wish you well and we like to send a solidarity word to the world you know the pandemic that we're facing is not only in south africa it's right. it's a challenge that the whole world is facing so we're saying we're saying all the comrades they must be strong we need to face these challenges that we're facing we need to make sure that we overthrow you know the system that it always want to see us not uh, you know not, not, not getting the independence and not, not uh, having the freedom that we're supposed to be having so thank you very much for the platform that we got we wish thank you. you all the best right. thank you that's all we have time for today keep watching people's dispatch yeah, 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 yeah.